Hi everyone, this is Cece. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very fun topic and it is my MS wishlist. What triggers me to do uh, this video is that as you guys all know, Christmas is around the corner. Uh, at least I believe so. It's now November. And once you get to November, Christmas feel like just comes like quickly. The theme, I feel like within a matter of like Two weeks so so that's why um, I think it's appropriate to talk about my wish list to talk about what I want not necessary that it's guaranteed that I would get bags that I am wishing for and I believe the bags I have on my wish list are probably gonna be a lifelong journey to pursue them so I am okay with that. You know, everything has its timing, right? I can take my time and slowly, slowly getting things that I want in my wish list. So without further ado, first thing first, as you guys all know, all we all might have agreed on that the mask has three basic colors. It is the black, gold, and a taupe. So these two here, Apparently, they're not on my wish list since I already own them. They're here just for eye candies. <laughs> I picked these two from my closet only because they are two of the basic colors or two of the most popular Hermes colors. The gold and the black. So you can kind of guess one of the bags in my wish list would be uh, somewhat in the color of a taupe. So a taupe is a very nice brownish or brownish gray or grayish brown. Um, I don't know how you prefer to term it, but it is a very nice brown color to me. And unfortunately so far, I do not have any uh, thing in that color in my closet. So the first bag in my Hermes wish list would be a a taupe Bergen preferably uh, 25. I know just the size, the bag size itself is hard to get or to obtain nowadays because smaller bags are still so popular nowadays. I am not like desperate desperate but at the same time that's on my list that I really want to get actually. A very classic everyday Etope Birkin 25. So, and I mean, for now, I don't know how I'm going to get it since um, it's, like I said, uh, Birkin 25 is just high demand. I don't know, but I can wait. <laughs> yes, so that's number one on my wish list. But number two on my wish list would be, can you guess what it is? Probably not. I mean, okay, so in the old days, I am all about neutral colors. I mean, so far, if you have seen what I have been wearing, mostly for my videos, I'm usually basically wearing like very basic colors, very neutral colors, you know, brown, black, uh, white. So I am a very, very basic person when it comes to colors. But I would say in the past year, I have slowly, slowly been favoring some colors, including yellow. I had bought uh, yellow car holders. I had bought a pair of the Hermes uh, Oasis yellow sandals and as always I have always loved pink yes pink is the only I would say the only color that I love besides all the neutral colors but now things have changed and I slowly appreciate other colors and especially Hermes made so many wonderful colors Hermes produced so many vibrant rich and sometimes dreamy colors it's just like so many to choose from if you are given a chance and one of the colors i'm not sure i think it more like a seasonal color because i don't think it's produced every year and and this color is the second one on my wish list which is a malachite color so the second bag in my wish list i prefer it to be a malachite uh Birkin. 30. I don't think I have seen a Malachi in a uh, Birkin 25. To me, that's such like a rich green color and 
the first time that it actually caught my eye was actually, I believe, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. If you know a K-pop artist, Jessica Dong, she owns, I think, America uh, Birkin 25. For most of the outfit, uh, she was wearing all white whenever she was carrying the America Birkin. And to me, that is such a refreshing uh, combination. And I was start thinking, this is a very actually nice green. And and you know, this year it has been all about the greens, like different types of green, you know, like dark green or like a minty kind of green that Chanel made uh, with the classic blobs. All this just contribute to me building on my interest in getting a green bag. And Marikai Birkin is just such a nice to me combo um, that you can use actually kind of like as a neutral color in your daily life because if it's darker green it can actually go with a lot of colors a lot of ensemble um, that you might want to put together you can wear it with like an earthy tone uh, maybe like brown or like a light beige or like different types of uh, beige uh, white and it can even go with uh, denim like a lot of denims are like bluish, light blue, dark blue. I believe you, you know, like the Mary Kai color can go with any of those above colors, which are usually like the colors that I wear anyways. So I think a Mary Kai Birkin would be a very, very nice addition to my closet if I can ever find a decent condition one. Okay, so the third one, the third one on my wish list would be a glycine Birkin. 30 or 25. Like I said, once again, Sims Birkin 30 might be easier to come by uh, than a Birkin 25. So glycine is, I would describe it as like a dusty beige, wash kind of color. Um, it's like beige pinkish, but very light beige pinkish, but at the same time, it's a little dusty. It is a very, very dreamy and feminine color to me. And I prefer this kind of pinkest beige or beige pink color over other lighter color because it just gives out that like luxurious Alola and a glycine Birkin 30 would be a very very nice combo for me. Once again, it's definitely a somewhat neutral color so I think it would be a very nice addition to my somewhat uh, boring uh, wardrobe which is like mostly basic colors. I think um, it is actually pretty difficult to find one. Once again, I'm not sure if it's a seasonal color. I don't think MS has that color every year. It's just kind of hard to come by, but, but I have hope. I, I definitely do. So the number four on my wish list, it could be either a bubblegum pink, uh, which is also called the Bi P color in a mess. So it is either a bubblegum pink Birkin or Constance. I prefer maybe a Constance 18 because it's just such a cute size. But if I can come by a size 24, Constance 24, I'm okay with that too. Bubblegum pink, it is almost like a Mount Everest specialist for anyone who loves pink. It is such a cute, dreamy kind of pink color. It comes with the brown stitching, which is a very nice touch to the color itself. Once again, I just admire how well MS does the color combos. Uh, that's why people just, you know, keep collecting them. They just seem to never stop. Because MS just come up with like so many great colors every season, every year. So it is very hard to just you say, oh, I want to just get one Birkin or like one Kelly. You just, you just can't, you cannot. It's just, it's very, it's very hard when you see all these beautiful colors, right? So, so yes, I would want a Birkin in the bubblegum pink by P. If I can come across with a bubblegum pink Constance, uh, preferred Constance 18, that's also good too. I feel like whenever I carry a mini Constance, I feel like I'm a Barbie because it's just a, such a like, cute little bag and if it's, especially if it's in a 5P color, I, I don't know, I just can't, I just... So the next one would be the fifth one? Yeah, I think it's the fifth one on my wish list. It is actually a very highly sold after limited bag that uh, is very hard to come across 
and the only way you can get it right now is through the resale market. Um, it is a vintage Mini Kelly. The Miss Stute made Mini Kelly, which is a Kelly 20. It's about 8 inches long. The vintage Mini Kelly, however, is bigger. I mean, the length is still uh, 20 centimeter. It, however, it's taller and it is deeper. So, meaning that it has more space. Like I said, I know that it's very limited since they no longer produce it. And it's also very hard to come across with one that is still in great condition. It comes with a strap and everything like that. Uh, maybe I got lucky to find one that's uh, a decent price because now the, the sellers would sell the vintage Mini Kelly for for over 20,000. Yeah, for over 20,000 US dollars. So it's very expensive and I'm still just saving and um, waiting for maybe a decent price when we come up, hopefully one day. And so the last on my MS wish list would be, no, it's not a Himalaya, that's what you're thinking about. I somehow, for now, I somehow do not think the Himalaya is that good looking. It's just a personal perspective. It's just a personal opinion. Um, so don't hook watch against me when I'm saying this out loud. I just think the colors, whole theme, it's just not really my cup of tea for now. However, never say never, as they say, right? So maybe, I mean, one day I would change my mind. I would love it. But for now, it is not really my cup of tea. So it is not a Himalaya Birkin on as the last one on my wish list. It's actually a crocodile breaking with diamond encrusted hardware. That's my holy grail. That's my unicorn. That's my lifetime goal uh, out there. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I ever get one, but I just want to put it out to the universe. Hopefully one day, this dream with some sort of kind of harvest itself and make it into a dream become true. I just adore the crocodile with diamond hardware. It just, it's just such a luxurious and such a rich combo. Um, whenever I see one, like even just a picture on Instagram, I'm like, wow, like I just adore it. I just adore, admire it. And I mean, don't even talk about the price of that bag. It's like expensive. It's the price of a house. I mean, I guess, it depends on what state you're talking about to get a house in, but but I would say yes, it could be the price of the house because it can easily go above like three hundred thousand dollars if you're trying to buy from a reseller. I just don't know if I ever feel comfortable carrying something as valuable as like a house on the crook of my arm, but <laughs> but it just it's just nice to think one day I might I. I could own a, a crocodile Birkin with, you know, diamond crusted hardware. It is just something nice to think about. I mean, that's what we strive for, right? Every single day that you have a goal and then you work hard and you make money and then you're trying to reach that goal, right? So, so that's it. So yeah, so that's the last one on my wish list. I, like I said, I don't know if it will ever become true that I could ever get a Birkin like that. But I mean, if there's hope, there's motivation, right, in life. So that is for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.